All right, guys, this is part two because I can only do five minute intervals with this free screen capture program. So now we're back to here. Um, we have everything highlighted now. So what I want to do is try and click everything back into beats. So if I make this bigger, just so you can see, um, you can see these lines coming down here. These little blocks should line up exactly with those lines if they're perfectly in time. Now, them being out of time is no fault of yours sometimes. There's what's called late latency. So if you're using an older computer that's not very quick with memory, um, then it will sometimes lag from what you hear to what you're actually playing as well. So what we're going to do is now they're all highlighted like so. Um, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see it. If I hit this quantize button, you'll watch all the blocks kind of slightly move into place. All right, you might have seen this one go and a couple of others. Now, if they're, if they're in time, it shouldn't touch anything. But if they aren't, then it will slightly adjust them all to make them fit. So you can see all the hi-hats are now in, in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here because I can see a couple of these kick drums aren't in the right place. So I'm just going to move them slightly. So I can either highlight it and just move it, oh, move it one by one. Or I can do something else. So I think this is slightly wrong. So I'm just going to pop this back to here and let's have a listen. Okay, I'm just going to turn the metronome off so it's not so distracting. And now let's have a listen to it all again. Are you ready? Okay, I'm happy with that beat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to what's called looping it by adding more of them. So if I hold down the option button on my keyboard, it should be the same for Windows and for Mac. And then I click and drag, it'll create a new one. So I just add it to the end. Just be very, very careful. You don't accidentally chop off the ending. Otherwise, it'll sound out of time every time that it loops. So if I want to do more of them, I can highlight both by selecting them or dragging over it and highlighting it, pressing option, clicking it again, and now it allows me to copy two more to the end. All right. You can see I've left a gap there by accident, so I can just click them again and move them into place. Now, if I go from the beginning, so you'll hear a change. All right, and that's how I add my first part into it. Now, it's time to add something else. So if I go over here to the plus add track, this allows me to pick another instrument. So I'm going to pick another instrument, go on this one. Now, this time, the bottom's not up there. So what I have to do is click on the piano, and then it allows me to choose my instrument. I'm going to go for a synth bass. So something like that. All right, let's go from the beginning again. It's going to give me a four count once I start. I don't need the metronome anymore because the drums will keep me in time. And let's do this. Ready? Okay, so I've just done a quick recording with my keyboard. You can choose whatever you want. Remember, if you stick to the white keys and you start with C, you can't really make a mistake. So once again, I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna make it smaller so I can see them all. Now, they're probably slightly out of time. So I'm gonna highlight all of them again. And I'm gonna push quantize. And let's see if that does it for me. So let's go back to the beginning and have a listen. Beautiful. Okay, this video is about to end in 20 seconds. So what I'm going to do just quickly is I'm going to hold option down again and click and drag so that I can add my bass part for this whole song. All right. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how now we can add effects to these things to make them sound cooler. All right. See you in the next video.